I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Somehow we never learn. Chest cold, still I wonder how a heart beat. I count sheep, but somehow it don't account sleep. Casual minds falling casualties to internet surroundings. Usernames fabricated to picture profiles the crowd see. Get a grave, dig a plot. We back around to spin the block. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all of the latest content. I'm Vodafly. I tell your mama, I said hi. Rice Gang, that my Shopify.com. Log on. Um, so, I want to talk to y'all about a situation that has been brewing for about a couple weeks now, but I like to speak on facts, not opinions, you know what I mean? Like, I can speculate on certain things, but when it comes to stuff like this right here, this right here. Ran off on the floor twice. He's daddy calling, I ain't calling by. I want to speak on facts, things that I know people I have spoke to. Um, we're gonna remove the names to protect the innocent as far as the MCs and the artists go. Um, I spoke exclusively to an artist who was involved in this situation, who didn't really want his name or the people that oh, I'm speaking about, other artists' names involved because he didn't want to make it look like, you know, uh, I'm putting people out there, I'm putting people on blast. And I told him I respected it, you know what I'm saying? I did respect it because it, 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 it shouldn't be happening like this. And then what y'all, what y'all want to, what I'm talking about is this whole Guardians of the Culture thing. You know what I'm saying? The Guardians of the Culture Battle League, a league that just popped up out of nowhere towards the end of last year. And if you've been in this game, and and I want you before you stick a fork in me, take this walk with me. This is not a three minute blog. It's going. We're going. We're going to talk for a little second. So. Um, League that just popped up out of nowhere towards the end of last year. And the thing about these leagues, when they pop up out of nowhere, if you've been here for a while, like a fan for 10, 5, 7, 8, 6 years, you've seen these guys pop up. You've seen the Ted Grizzles. You've seen a lot of these other leagues. They come, they stick around for a little while. Some of them try to make big splashes by booking Summer Madness-esque cards. And you know what I'm saying? But let me let the ratchet off. I gotta get hooked, so let me take the glasses off. But uh, they try to book these cards, and you always wonder in the back of your mind, you'd be like, where are they getting this money from? Because you know that a lot of these artists are not cheap. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these artists are not cheap, and a lot of them don't come for, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna charge you, as in these pop-up leagues, you're gonna get charged a lot of the times high prices because you haven't earned that stain yet. Like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, a lot of them see y'all as money. That's why, and you've seen, sometimes when these leagues book these big cards, it puts them out of business. Like, they don't need, they never come back around. Because what happens is, sometimes these leagues, they put themselves in a position where they book these cards, and they expect to make a certain amount of money, and then they don't make that money. And when they don't make that money, the artist or whoever was supposed to get paid does not get paid. So let's 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 go back a couple steps. So Guardians of the Culture pops out. They had a card uh, that was pretty successful. That was the one that New Jersey Twerk battled against uh, Swave Seven, and they had Don Marino versus Geechee Gotti. They had all of these like luxury battles, and you're like, yo, what the hell? Like, how did how they made this happen? You know what I'm saying? So you you see the battles, and you like. Uh, wow, like this is this is good. This 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 could be good for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, Geechee Gotti versus Don Marino, like that's a good battle right there. Then they had the Mike P versus uh, Dre Dennis. They had a lot of uh, that was the Body Snatchers card. As a matter of fact, it was the Body Snatchers card. Uh, some of the battles that they had on that card was a uh, DNA versus Chilla Jones, Don Marino versus Geechee Gotti, New Jersey Twerk versus Swave Seva, uh, Franchise versus So Severe, and they had a couple other battles on there. You know what I'm saying? Then they, that was a uh, that card happened uh, in October of last year. Then they spun the block to do the invasion card where they had, uh, now in March, it was supposed to be Big Cannon versus, they had another card too. It was another card they had with uh, A. Ward and Mac Myron, and that was another card. It was the second card. That was pretty successful. It was a Cold War card. They had Sharon versus Gichi Gotti, A. Ward versus Mac Myron, B. Magic versus Don Marino. That was another pretty good card. 
Then they spun the block and tried to go for the three-peat. When they tried to go for the three-peat, they had Kayshawn versus Big Cannon, Adi Boom versus DNA, Geechee Gotti, and B-Dot, Loso, A-Ward, New Jersey Twerk versus Bad News, Don Marino versus Ill Will, Dre Dennis versus Av, and then they had JC versus Osevia, JC backed out. But um, here's where the problem lies. A lot of the artists that were on the card are claiming they did not get paid, like didn't get paid. Backends, you know, and I got some audio on here that I'm gonna play from K-Shine. It actually came from um, Battle Rap Mood, Mona Ray. She actually caught this audio, and I'm gonna play it at the end where K-Shine was kind of explaining the situation as to where he didn't get paid, and he had agreed to battle Big Cannon, and you know he was supposed to battle Big Cannon on the car, but uh, Big Cannon had gotten to the car accident. K-Shine had got paid some of the money, but he didn't get paid all of his money. And then you had other artists, like a number of different artists that was on this card that did not get paid. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm surprised that, uh, is his name Thomas or whatever his name is that owns this league? I'm surprised that you didn't get hands and feet put on you. I'm surprised you didn't get packed out at the venue. Like, real talk. I'm really, really surprised that nothing happened to you. Like, uh, allegedly, from what I heard, he said he got robbed at the event or whatever the case may be. But we, I, everybody knew that when we seen this, it was above your head. The event was horrible. I recapped the event when it happened, it was horrible. The Av versus Drake Dennis was horrible. Av looked like he didn't want to be there. The crowd was trash. Uh, when somebody jumped in, uh, Amzilla versus fr Franchise, some guy from the crowd jumped in. The event took long as hell to start. I remember it was supposed to start at like three something. Them niggas ain't start rapping till almost seven, eight in the evening. And now we're getting more word that people did not get paid. Like, what, what, what y'all doing? Like, what, what are we doing here? I'm like, goddamn, you dirty bitch, you dirty bitch, you dirty. Why, why, why? Well, people ain't getting paid. It, the reason is because y'all, y'all in above y'all head. Um, for so I talked to an artist who said that uh, the league owner was like trying to borrow money from different artists, like trying to rob Peter to pay Paul, like rob, like. Ask an artist to borrow money and then I'll give you the money back with interest. Like, what are we doing here? You don't have the money to fund your own event and then borrow money from different people and it's like, the footage that they have, they don't even own anymore. Like the Av versus Dre Dennis, that came out on Gates of the Garden. Dre Dennis actually said something about that. Uh, he said that these guys gave the footage to two different leagues. They gave the footage to uh, they gave the footage to, so Dre Dennis says, looks like Ga Guardians of the Culture gave Gates of the Garden and King of the Dot Av versus Dre Dennis battle. Only one of us can upload it. These niggas is the worst. I got to expose these vultures and the, all the janky bad business done. So they basically gave the footage to King of the Dot, who probably helped sponsor their event, and gave the battle to Dre Dennis because Dre Dennis was, uh, didn't, didn't get paid the way he was supposed to, so they had to give him the ba battle to put on his channel. And then the battle gets uploaded on Gates of the Garden, and King of the Dot was probably gonna upload it too, but that puts a conflict of interest because Av battles on URL, Av's never battled on King of the Dot. So if they upload this battle on the channel, that's gonna cause a whole nother string of events. And now it's like, you got that two on two with A-Ward and um, A-Ward and Loso battle against you got and that. That's one of the better battles of the year. This footage is now, when is, where is this footage going to get uploaded? Um, I think these league owners need to understand that y'all playing with people's livelihood. Y'all playing with people's food, y'all playing with people's money, and most of these artists have kids. And we're in a pandemic right now. Why the fuck would you book people that you can't afford to pay? So the artist that I talked to said this league was expecting 400 people. Are you crazy? Like, Loso, no, Loaded Lux versus Arsenal happened in New Jersey and there may have been 150 people there. I was there. They don't, those uh, in New Jersey, them events don't really get a lot of people there. The only event that ever really got people in Jersey was uh, Loaded Lux versus Hollow to Dawn. And those are some of the biggest artists in the fucking world. But this event that you was putting together here, there's no way. And then they said that uh, the artist I spoke to said, that even when they was trying to get their people to pull up, they say I was charging $70 at the door. $70 at the door for this card is not gonna happen. It's not gonna, it, they would, people would have never paid that kind of money. Maybe the couple people who was there would have paid, but they wasn't gonna pay, they wasn't gonna get that kind of money. Uh, basically said they flew out, and most artists, they was like, they didn't even wanna battle that night. 
but they did it because they were under the presumption that they were going to get paid because you were like, yo, we're going to give you the money tomorrow, we'll give you the money next week, and they just never got paid. And then they, now they're like the league owner and then disappeared and went into hiding. They've been, artists have been threatening him, and rightfully so, like you playing on people's money. New Jersey twerk battled against Bad News. He did all right that night. Bad News did his thing. But overall, artists, y'all make sure y'all get your money when it comes to these leagues because this is, this is something that shouldn't have happened. And it is now a situation where, you know, you got battlers who really put their, they, they stayed up nights and nights and nights preparing for battles and they didn't get paid. This shit is crazy. So uh, my man B-Dot, he said, he, he said, and I quote about the situation, uh, he had asked, he said, hey, guardians of the culture, did y'all catch the Rona? Where my coins, blood? Hey, Loso, did they pay you yet? And Loso said, not a damn dime, SMH. They did not get paid. Like, the, the, what? And you got artists coming from all over. I'm telling you this. You're lucky. You're very lucky that you did not get hands and feet put on you on camera and that you get uploaded on YouTube. Did you see what happened? When, 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 at another event recently on camera, somebody get beat up on camera. Do you think that that wouldn't have happened to you? I'm just gonna tell you this: you're lucky. Don't play with these people out here. Don't you not even. Matter of fact, go find that man, and don't come back until you find that man. You're not even allowed to eat out here, B. You were running around here looking like the Three Stooges of Harlem, and then if you come with another event, if the people that didn't get paid from the last event, we're not even jocking that. Like we're not gonna jock that. I, I no, no, I'm not copying no pay per views from y'all. I'm not watching that shit if people ain't get paid from the last one because that's some nasty shit and I actually hope that y'all get stomped out. But uh, so let's look at this K-Shine footage. Uh, K-Shine, uh, salute to Mona Ray, Battle Raps Moves, she had caught this footage but uh, we'll put it up and K-Shine was explaining the situation from his perspective as far as uh, dudes not paying. Y'all niggas is nasty and y'all need to get that shit together. One. Somehow we never learn. 
chest goes, still I wonder how a heart beat I count sheep, but somehow it don't account sleep Casual minds falling casualties to internet surroundings Usernames fabricated to picture profiles the crowd See reality of a canvas untouched potential of different colors Imagination will segue connecting many others Forming bonds, ties, but suited building a different structure Stitching egos, clothes, sewing lines and linen with image suffer 